Go to tapjars.com to learn dreams, engage my services, and support the channel. Free marbles. Oh yeah, you see how the foot tries to stand on things and then realizes it can't. Um, that's because it doesn't know for sure that um, it can't stand on it. So if you carried on walking, it's not actually colliding with the table. Um, so it thinks that maybe it can stand on top of it. So I'll try and show you how to fix that. So let's add a puppet. And this happens with any kind of puppet really, uh, depending on what the settings are. And then I'll add like a table or whatever. Right, so, so it's like that. Let's see how that fares. We'll probably have to fiddle. See, it's trying to stand on it, and it can actually walk on it on it in that case. But if we um, adjust this, so it's just slightly too tall to walk on. So we can't actually walk on it because of the collision thing, uh, which you can see if you tweak the puppet and go to the physics tab and then hover over these, there's this collision pill shape. So that's the collision that the puppet actually uses. It doesn't use the body parts to know what it can collide with and that makes it more reliable. Um, so we can't actually move through it because it's slightly too tall like that, but the legs uh, um, don't realize that for whatever reason so then when we try and move forward it tries to put the legs on top of it in case we're about to, to walk up some steps or something so um, to to fix that you can adjust the height and like move it down and stuff and then it should have a better time figuring out that it can't walk on it so now it doesn't put the leg on top or it does it more rarely but you can like put that all the way to the ground really so if we do that then it for sure can't go onto that so then the leg doesn't kind of glitch out trying to go on top of it um, what that does mean though is if it's um, lower then you won't be able to walk over it because that collision pill shape is actually all the way to the ground. It's kind of a case of fine tuning how far down it goes. The other way of doing this though is you can like leave them on default um, but then add if you know you don't want the player to walk through this table or object or whatever um, you can just add invisible collision stuff to it. So if I just make this a different color it's really obvious that this is the collision. Then we can just make that invisible but leave it collidable. So now, because it's not actually just colliding with that little box we can see, it's colliding with a huge wall, then it knows that it can't walk on top of it. So then it tr doesn't try and put the leg on top of that um, table or whatever. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something interesting. Go to patreon.com slash tapgiles to learn something new every day.